In Lviv, in western Ukraine, traces of the past are everywhere. The city was once part of Poland and then Austria-Hungary and has a definite European feel to it. Lviv is home to Ruslana Lizhichko, who won the 2004 Eurovision Song Contest. The title catapulted her to overnight fame in Europe. She openly supported the Orange Revolution and even became a member of the Ukrainian parliament. I feel disillusioned by politics. Everything we fought for back then, during the Orange Revolution, all the things I hoped for, have never been implemented. But Ruslana is once again involved in the election campaign. She's due to give a concert in Lviv to support the incumbent prime minister and presidential candidate Yulia Tymoshenko, who was one of the leading figures in the Orange Revolution. Ruslana believes Timoshenko is the one most likely to follow through on her promises to bring Ukraine closer to Europe. Timoshenko is very much present. She seems to be everywhere. She's strong and consistently represents Ukrainian interests. She's pro-Ukrainian. And she's also in favor of Europe. This couple say they won't be attending Ruslana's concert. They've lost faith in Ukrainian politics altogether. They don't believe any of the presidential candidates will be able to improve the situation. I don't believe this election will bring any substantial change. We've had the same politicians in power for years, sometimes in one position, sometimes in another. They say the Orange Revolution has not led to more democracy or greater wealth as hoped. Ukraine is in crisis both politically and economically. The national currency has nosedived. Ukraine is on the verge of bankruptcy. Many accuse the politicians of spending more time arguing than finding solutions. Unfortunately, we're really being hit hard by the economic crisis. Prices have gone through the roof. What's really bad is that the price of food has shot up. But everyone has to eat. But as a couple, they're doing relatively well. Askolt opened his own practice five years ago, specializing in ultrasound scans. He'd like to buy more equipment and hire more staff. But he says it's impossible to find investors in the current economic climate, while the political situation remains so unstable and the politicians continue to squabble. Yeah. I couldn't get a government loan because I couldn't pay the interest rates. I would have to convert my parents' apartment for use as a surgery. At the other end of the city, hundreds of spectators have gathered for the concert. Many here say they've been disappointed by the Orange Revolution. But still, a cheer goes up when Prime Minister Timoshenko takes the stage. Here in western Ukraine, she remains popular. In 2004, we were convinced that together we could fundamentally reform Ukraine, immediately, overnight, so to speak. We were too idealistic. There is still so much more to be done. Let's finish the job together. Then it's Ruslana's turn. She's one of many Ukrainian artists who've come out in support of Timoshenko. They want to stop Timoshenko's rival, Viktor Yanukovych. They fear that if he became president, Ukraine would once again fall under the influence of Moscow. We believe Ukraine will achieve happiness within Europe. Askold Kutcher and his family also want Ukraine to stay on a pro-European course. They don't see any alternative, regardless of who wins the election. They often discuss politics at home. There's so much wheeling and dealing and political meddling, I don't believe the vote will be fair. The young people should take the reins, but the older elite don't give them a chance. We're a young state. We only gained our independence 20 years ago. Who can build a democracy in 20 years? 
As Gold Kutcher says real change takes time, we ask him if he plans to vote. He says he's not sure, maybe he'll go skiing instead.